When you open a new GarageBand project or create a new track, you'll need to select what track type you want to open. In this video, I'll go through all four track types that you can use in GarageBand for Mac and demo what they can do. If you plan to play or record GarageBand's built-in software instrument sounds with one of these, or the musical typing function, then you want to open a software instrument track. You can access GarageBand's hundreds of built-in instrument sounds via the library. You can dive into and use everything from authentic sounding keyboard and orchestral sounds to a huge variety of synthesizer sounds. Opening the Smart Controls window gives you access to loads of controls for your selected software instrument patch, allowing you to fine-tune or completely change its sound. If you want to set up a drum or percussion beat using GarageBand's excellent virtual session players, choose the Drummer track. Drummer allows you to choose from a massive number of drum kit presets and styles that will be played by your very own virtual drummer. Just like MIDI track patches, you can find all available drummers and drum kits in the library. There are currently 33 different drummers over 7 genres to choose from. Once you've picked your drummer, you can dynamically tweak their playing style, which parts of the kit they play, how simple or complex their performance is, and much more in the Drummer Tracks editor window. If you want to record your voice or an instrument with a microphone, whether that's a USB microphone or an XLR microphone with an audio interface, you'll want to select the mic or line audio track. You can select from any attached microphones or your Mac's built-in microphone, if it has one, using the audio track's smart controls window. Then it's as simple as hitting the record button and shoving the microphone in front of your mouth as you sing talk, rap, or whatever. One, two, three, four. In the audio tracks library, you'll find loads of patches that can be applied to your recorded audio that range from presets designed to enhance a vocal performance One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, one. Two, to weird three, and wonderful three, effects. Four, one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, one, two, three. If you want to hook up an electric guitar or bass using an audio interface, select the guitar or bass audio track. This acts in much the same way as the mic or line audio track. 
you can select any attached inputs from the smart controls window and you can access audio patches from the library. The difference here is that these audio patches are all guitar amps and effects. You can tweak the sounds of your guitar or bass presets by diving into the controls in the track smart controls. or go deeper by clicking on the amp or pedal icons in the track's smart controls window. Let me know your thoughts on GarageBand's four different track types and how you use them down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on your way past, I really appreciate it. For more in-depth info on all of GarageBand's track types, check out the links that are in the description below this video, or stick around and watch this video next for more info on how to get started with GarageBand for Mac.